The battle against a silent killer we first reported on inflammatory breast cancer last May. It is the deadliest form of breast cancer. 14 million people around the world downloaded our stories. And now, as Michelle Esteban reports, the world's first IBC clinic is open. So today's the day. Today's the day. Dr. Massimo Christofinelli is making history. I say we have to do it. I wanted to do it in October. Because His patients call him Dr. C, and he made a promise to one of them. And she wanted me to promise that I would done something for this disease. That something brought IBC survivors and advocates to Houston from across the country. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm still. I'm at a natural high. I'm proud to be here. I'm absolutely blown away by the, you know, the, the history that's been made here today. We are at the country's largest cancer hospital, MD Anderson Cancer Center. I'm very excited about uh, the possibility to open, uh, for the first time anywhere in the world that I know, uh, a new inflammatory breast cancer clinic dedicated only to patients with inflammatory disease. For the first time, doctors will work exclusively to find out why this cancer is so lethal. Up to 6% of all breast cancer is IBC. The goal? To develop a blood test to easily detect IBC. Many um, physicians are not exposed to this uh, disease for during their lifetime. Dr. Cristofanelli confirms what we reported. Many doctors misdiagnose it as a bug bite or a breast infection. Dr. C told me after our report in May, he was flooded with calls and dozens of women came to see him. At least 14 million people worldwide downloaded our reports. To have a man like Massimo Cristofanelli call you on the phone and say, because of Como TV, I'm going to open this clinic because I have seen more patients in the last three months than I have in all of 2005. My name's Patty and... Patty from Redmond is a self-appointed IBC Street Evangelist. Have you heard of inflammatory breast cancer? I'm not trying to sell anything. My daughter has stage four and I'm trying to alert women. Dr. C was so impressed with Patty's zeal, he asked her to speak at the clinic's opening. When we did this on Como, it like, it changed the world. And this clinic is proof of that change. The biggest thing since my daughter was born. Patty says the clinic brings hope, hope for her daughter too. At 37, Christine was diagnosed with stage four IBC, the most advanced and deadly stage. Yet she never heard of the disease until she was battling it. If I had heard of it prior, then you know I probably would have been more suspect that it was something else wrong rather than just being young and dumb takes over the whole breast you can't and Audrey Wagner is another of hundreds of women who told me the same thing my doctor my doctor I went to did not know about I mean, when a rash line appeared under Audrey's breast she thought it was from her bra her doctor told her it was nothing to worry about here's what IBC can look like a swollen breast a red rash itching a flattened nipple stabbing pain and an orange peel like texture my reaction was, of course, I was deathly afraid. I was very scared. So was Morgan Welsh. Five weeks after her wedding, Morgan learned she was dying from the disease she never heard of. We didn't believe that the moment would come when there would be no more options, that there was nothing left that could be done. At 24, Morgan died, Dr. C's youngest patient to succumb to IBC. Her one wish? She told them her concerns and the need for them to not make this mistake again. I will keep my promise to... One promise to one woman is now hope for millions. In Houston, Michelle Esteban, Como 4 News. The clinic's first job to create a collection of blood and tissue samples from IBC patients worldwide. You can learn more about the clinic and IBC through a link on our website. Just go to comotv.com. A popular holiday